Greetings and welcome to the Astronomy Picture of the Day podcast. Today's picture for January 19th of 2024 is titled Jupiter over two hours and 30 minutes. So what do we see here? Well, here we see multiple pictures of Jupiter taken over a time span of about two hours and 30 minutes. Now, what does that mean? Well, that's actually a good chunk of the rotation of Jupiter. Jupiter is the fastest spinning planet in the solar system. And in fact, it spins in once every nine hours and 56 minutes, less than 10 hours. So a day on Jupiter, if you could be floating in the clouds, would last about 10 hours. You would watch the sun rise, and about five hours later, the sun would set. And then five hours later, again, it would rise. So it continues like that, like that, and is again the fastest rotating, which makes it extremely fast rotation when you consider its much larger size compared to the smaller planets like Earth. Earth, of course, rotates once every 24 hours. So Jupiter rotates almost two and a half times in one Earth rotation. Now that affects what we see in the atmosphere of Jupiter because it is rotating so quickly and it is so much larger. That means that any given point in the atmosphere is moving many times faster, not just two and a half times faster than something on Earth's surface, but many times faster than that. And that causes all the cloud layers to be stretched out. And we see those alternating light and dark bands in the atmosphere of Jupiter in the various images here. Now, how can we see the rotation? Well, let's take a look at the great red spot. The great red spot is down towards the lower left in the first image, which is also the lower left image of Jupiter. And you can see how quickly it moves across the surface in each of these. In just two and a half hours, it has gone from uh, being on one side of Jupiter to being almost off the edge of the limb on the other side of Jupiter. So that's just two and a half hours it took it to move across this much larger planet than Earth. Now, how might you get an image like this? Well, you just need a nice clear sight and a small telescope and camera to be able to take the images. These don't need a very large uh, telescope to be able to get them. Uh, you just need to be enough that you can see the features of Jupiter. And that's what was done here. These were taken not all that long ago. In fact, just a couple of days ago on January the 15th. And that is when the images were obtained and able to see how quick Jupiter was rotating. So the features on Jupiter such as we see here are visible even with just a small telescope. We do not need a spacecraft to go out there to Jupiter to see them although that's nice to study them in far more detail. We don't need very large telescopes to be able to see Jupiter. We can actually study it and has is continually studied by much smaller telescopes that are used such as the one that was used to obtain our pictures for today. So that was our picture of the day for January 19th of 2024. It was titled Jupiter over two hours and 30 minutes. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be boost back burn. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day everyone. And I will see you in class.